This is what I'm looking at. Look familiar, my friends? So I actually got home two days ago. It's Monday. And uh, the first night I was happy to see Maya and Chris. Um, Chris looked really shocked that I was home so soon. <laughs> Maya, she was, she was happy I brought her home snacks. <laughs> Um, but that night I was exhausted and I was stressed. I went to bed almost right away. Um, Sunday, yesterday, I spent the day, um, editing videos. I was 12 hours on the computer editing videos. And, uh, then early to bed last night. I think I was in bed about nine o'clock last night. Um, still haven't recuperated. <laughs> this morning I was up and back on the computer again by 7 a.m., and I just am finishing. This is the ending to the video. So, uh, yeah, I'm back home. But what does that mean? Does that mean that the van was a waste of money? Does that mean that I'm not making it to the sparkle event? What does it mean? Also, where are my ladies? <laughs> Just let's give a shout out and see if they come. Hey, single ladies. Hey, single ladies. They usually will come from up there. Hi, single ladies. Hi, single ladies. Hi, single ladies. Hi, single ladies. I put your beaks up. Down the rumbly come running. Let's just give them a minute. Uh oh. Let's try this again. Hey, single ladies! Any action up there? So, what does this mean, though? What does this mean for my future in van life? Well, I've had a few days to think. And first of all, I am getting back in that van and I am heading to Cleveland. Of course, I am not missing out. Panic attacks and all, I am going. But it was good to come home for those couple days. So I'm hopping in the van tomorrow and I am off to Cleveland. That's right. Um, on the way home, I don't know. When this event is over, will I be totally depleted and just urgent need to get home and do an eight hour stretch home? I don't know. I'm really not sure how that's gonna work. I also don't know where my chickens are. Usually they're right here. Hey ladies! This is where they've been hanging out for the past while. Hey ladies! Hey, ladies! Why do I hear Oh, guys! What are you doing over there? Hi, girls! Look at my chickens. Look at my girls over there. Can you see them? They're behind all those branches. Hey, girls! Come on home! I'm gonna go over there and chase them home in a bit, but for now, they're okay. That's my neighbor, Jason, and he used to have chickens, so he'll be okay. But anyways, so yeah, that's that's where my life is going. It's, it's up in the air. I love my camper van. It's not even finished yet. I love it. I'm not selling it. I'm not giving up. It's just gonna take baby steps, I think. For some reason, Things have changed in my life, and I have got anxiety now, and panic attacks. And I would be way, way, way more comfortable if I could take my dog. <laughs> but I can't do that. I even looked at the Marriott, and some of the Marriott's, I don't know about that one in particular, but some of them are dog-friendly. 
Um, but I just don't think it's fair to Polly that while I'm out with the girls and doing whatever we're doing, <laughs> that she's just sitting in the room. I don't think that's fair. So I'm going to do what I can, partake in what I can, and I'm just going to, you know, do what I can. <laughs> so I am back home. There's not much to see over there. Let's walk this way. And I'm not giving up. I'm still going to keep doing it. It just might be shorter spurts. This 15-day thing, I think, was apparently too much for me. Two days was good. The next one, it's got to be, what, four or five days? Because, yeah, I think the event itself is four days. Because I'm a VIP and we're doing a dinner ahead of time. Provided I can keep my anxiety under wraps, right? But um, it was awesome. I loved the trip. Coming back was a little stressful just because I was so panic-stricken. Over nothing, really. And when I got home, my instant thought was, as soon as I was at home, I crawled into bed and I covered up just for a few minutes, just to kind of calm myself. And my instant thought was, ah, dang it. I was talking to one of my followers who literally lived eight minutes away from where I was. I could have just said, I need to just stay in your laneway for one night just to collect myself, just to calm my nerves, just to get my ducks in the row, and it would have been fine. Thank you for the offer, by the way. Sorry that in the moment of anxiety I forgot, but that probably would have been helpful. But I got overstressed, and I couldn't, I couldn't see straight, basically. All I could think of is... I needed to be in a place that I felt comfortable, I guess. And that was home. When really, I should be comfortable in the van. Um, I just need to have a spot, you know, that I know I'm not going to get the knock on the door that I could actually sleep because I did not sleep that night. Because every time the fridge started up, or the freezer started up, because they were two separate units, which I got rid of one of them. I don't need both. Um... It, it jarred me. It was like as if someone was approaching the vehicle and I wake up. Or the sound of the horses in the night. The horses were making noise for some reason. And of course that startled me. So I didn't get much sleep that night. And then it was exciting. Like I was so excited if you couldn't tell from the videos. Um, to be there. And I met a lovely couple that I hung out with for the day. And um, But it was after that. It was like... You know how it is after Christmas, you have everybody coming over and you're so excited and you're so full of joy. And then all of a sudden it's over and everybody's gone back home. And it's like that moment where all of a sudden I just crumble. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it never used to be that way. I even said to my daughter when she called and she's like, just checking in. How's the trip going? And I'm like, oh, I'm home. And she's like, what? And I'm like, Yep. And she's like, what happened? And so I explained to her and she's like, oh, mom, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, yep, apparently I'm one of those people now. <laughs> she's like, mom, what does that mean? And I was like, I don't know, but it just, it's not me. It's not the normal me. <laughs> she laughed. She told me the same thing. She's like, oh, you just need to collect yourself. It's been a few years since you were you. She's like, you were saddled down with grief too long. You need to find the, the rambunctious mom that I was. <laughs> They're good for uh, picking up my spirits, my girls are. They know me so well. All right, guys. That's my ramble. That's my update. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you will sometime, you know, if Mackenzie Child is your jam... I hope that you get a chance to go down there because it is gorgeous. Check out these pretty purple flowers. Hmm. I've never noticed them in my yard before. Um, but yeah, if it's your jam, oh, it's a must-see. I actually walked away and bought nothing. Tight budget. <laughs> Tight budget. But I can tell you, there's some ladies... They walked out spending thousands of dollars in there that day. Thousands. Oh, by the way, the update. 
pottery is still made there. It's still hand painted. Um, enamelware is made in China because they don't have a metal press, but they actually are, were thinking of looking into it, they said. And um, of course, like rugs and stuff like that are made overseas, but they did not sell to China, despite what some people have heard. Apparently, the company or the lady that owns American Girl Dolls, she's the proud new owner of Mackenzie Child. And like I said in the video, the only thing that really would have made this go over the top is to see Victoria walk in. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? I'm pretty sure she's not allowed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to see Victoria McKenzie now, that would be my next big, huge bucket list goal. If anyone knows her, hey. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you all. Thanks for joining me on my adventure. More to come because like I said, I'm getting in that vehicle and I'm going again tomorrow. I had two days of being at home not a whole lot of relaxing because that was a lot of editing. Um, but we're going to do some more adventuring. All right. Till the next time. Thanks. <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> and give me that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye, guys.